tonight uh, to speak to the mighty Wolverines. I know, I don't know if that's what they still call you, but that's what we were called when I was at Winbrook. Uh, parents, can we just give a round of applause to the graduates for tonight? There are so many talented Wolverines that have come before me uh, tonight to speak, and you all have done such an amazing job. Um, those of you playing in the orchestra, those of you singing, those of you dancing, you should be very proud of yourselves. Uh, let me start by saying thank you to my elementary school alma mater, Wimbrook Elementary School, um, and specifically to Dr. Mullins for thinking so highly of me to ask me to come back and speak, and we give her a round of applause. I want to say thank you to Mr. Teal and Ms. Davis for their leadership. Uh, students, give all your teachers and the administrators a round of applause for that. So look, I know when I was in the fifth grade, uh, in this very room at my uh, promotion ceremony, my graduation from the fifth grade, I didn't want to hear some stranger talking forever. So I promise you I'm not going to be up here before you very long. But what I won't do is talk to a dead crowd. So I need you guys, this is going to be interactive, we're going to be live, and we're going to talk about something that is super, super important. And I think that this is going to be something that you can use as you go on in your life, as you move on to middle school and high school and even college and any parts of your life. I'm gonna ask you one question. I wanna to talk to you about one specific question tonight and it's something that you all can ask yourselves as you go on in life. And now, parents, don't tune out on me because this message is for them, but this is also for you as well. Okay, so look, I need you to be locked in for me. I'm not going to talk to you very long. I'm going to move around a little bit just because that's what I like to do. I need you locked in for me. So when I say lock, you say in. Here we go. Lock. In. Lock. In. I got you for five minutes. Here we go. So tonight, I want you to understand the significance of your accomplishments. It is very significant that you are graduating from the fifth grade. I know everyone's going to tell you, uh, you know, there's, you, you've done such a great job and there's so much more to come. And that is so true because this is only just the launch pad. This is the start of your journey. You all are going on to new heights, even greater and better places. And I know that this may be a nervous time for you. You're moving on, some of you, to new places, new schools. You're going to have to meet new friends and meet new administrators. Some of you do bus stops and bus drivers. And it may be a nervous time. But I want you to remember that as you go through your journey of school and your journey of life, who you are. I have one question for you all tonight, and that question is, who are you? On the count of three, I want you to say, who are you? One, two, three. So this is the question that I want you all to think about, because whenever you're questioning or confused about something that's going on, your friends might not be, might not be being nice to you, you might think that the teacher is wrong, or whatever it might be, I want you to always remember who you are. Do me a favor and point at whoever is next to you. I know your teachers tell you don't, you're not supposed to point, but point at them, look at them, and ask them, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> okay, 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 we locked in, we locked in, we locked in. Here we go, here we go, lock in, lock in, lock in. So, I want you to remember that on this journey, you've asked yourself the question, who are you? But I want you to remember that as you go along your journey, who you are as a person and your character should not change. You should always be consistently excellent. Everybody say consistently excellent on three. One more time, consistently excellent. So let's talk about consistency. Consistency means you're always doing the same thing, 
right? And so when we talk about excellence, that means we want to be the best at everything that we do. And so when we put it together, when we put those two things together, that means that I don't just want to be good in my extracurricular activities or on the sports fields or in the band, but I also want to be excellent in the classroom, right? I want to be excellent at home when my parents ask me to do my chores, right? That's what consistent excellence means. So consistency is constantly doing the right thing over and over again. Now, I want to see if y'all are with me, so hold on one Okay, so look, so that right there was what I call the consistency clap. The only reason you joined in on the clap is because I was consistent with that clap. If I only clapped one time, the whole crowd wouldn't have joined in. If there's one thing that I know about Wimbrook, Wimbrook produces leaders. And leaders have to have people follow them and join in on their excellence. So always remember, just like the clap, don't just do one excellent thing, don't just do two excellent things, but consistently be excellent. The more you clap, the more you're excellent, the more those that are around you are excellent. Now, this is, this is something that I want you all to do because I believe in speaking over your life. I believe in speaking what you believe. So all of my graduates here tonight, my fifth grade graduates, I want you to stand up for me. And, and we can give them a round of applause. So, and, and stay, stay standing for me. Uh, this is very important. This is going to be interactive. You're going to have to open your mouth and speak this out. So I want us to say, I want us to affirm for ourselves that we are consistently excellent. So I want you to say, on the count of three, I want you to say, I am, and you're going to say your name, and I'm consistently excellent. So I'm going to say your teacher's name, say your name, okay? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. And good job, good job. You can sit down, y'all can sit down. And, and now, this is what I want. I want the parents engaged too. I want the families engaged. I want you to find your student right now. Point them out, point them out from the crowd. Find them, point them, point at them. And I want you all, parents, please, I want you all on the count of three to say you are consistently excellent. On the count of three, one, two, three. You are consistently excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Winbrook Wolverines, I personally am so tremendously proud of all of you, your teachers, your administrators are so proud, your parents, your family, your village is so proud of you, and we cannot wait to see what's in store for you and everything that you're going to accomplish. I thank you all so much for having me come to speak to you all, and I wish you the best of luck in your journey. Thank you.